Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so I am doing something new right now. Um, I'm going to be doing, starting a new series, Soulmates, What's the Tea? <laughs> um, so if you're in a soulmate relationship, you're in a, uh, you've recently connected with a soulmate, you're looking to attract a soulmate, something like that, this would be a reading for you, potentially. Now, this is a general reading, so um, it may not resonate with everybody, but if it does resonate with you, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, right? So um, this is for soulmates mainly. If you're a twin flame, you probably could uh, resonate with this, but this is not for twin flame specifically. This is for anyone that doesn't necessarily resonate with the twin flame situation, but is looking for a soulmate or is working or is in a relationship with a soulmate, uh, is connecting with a soulmate, recently met somebody, came into contact with someone that's a soulmate, or there's a soulmate coming back in, right? Okay, awesome. So, we're doing fire signs. Okay, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're going to start with Aries, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get an oracle card from the Whispers of Love oracle, just to see what your theme is for the moment. Um, I'm going to say... This is for the, the I don't know the 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 the, last, the the rest of the month potentially I might be able to do these weekly I'm not sure but let's just say for now this is brand new but let's say for now we're just gonna go until about the end of October let's just see what the forecast is for you guys so we're starting with an oracle card we're gonna get you um, your theme and then we're going to get some clarification with the tarot yes okay so let's get with it. Aries, we're starting with you, Aries. Woohoo! Let's see what we got for you, Aries, my fellow Aries. And this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So if you have Aries in your chart, either as your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or you are cross watching for an Aries with Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this could potentially be for you. What do we got for you, Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. What do we got for you? Aries, Aries, Aries. Whoop, whoop. Okay, here we go. All right, we've got two for you, Aries. All right, so let's see here. The first card is number 19, express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. Okay, so um, already some of you need to express yourselves a little bit, um, which really I don't think is <laughs> that hard for an Aries. Um, you know, I... In Eastern astrology, I have my son is in Aries, and I really have no problem. But for the most part, I really have no problem telling people how I feel, what I want, going after what you want. So um, that really isn't something. But I feel like for some of you Aries that are connecting with this reading right now or this message, you have you may have been holding back a little bit. Um, and it, actually, I'm picking up that you want to give in some way. It's just you don't know how um, you. You kind of want to make this grand gesture, but what's sticking out to me is here giving a small token. It doesn't have to be huge. Just just express yourself in some way. Show you love someone or that you appreciate someone through doing something, giving them something. And then the second card you got here is appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So if you're going through some sort of turmoil, Aries, um, instead of focusing on the negatives here, it's better to focus on the positive. Let's focus on, you know, what it is you could be learning from this moment, um, how you could grow in this moment. Okay, well, all right, cool. So, <laughs> oh boy, um, you've got some flyers here, Aries. <laughs> the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess. So... It's funny because I really feel like this is, um, and this is not exactly how I'm going to do the spread. I'm actually going to shuffle and you know get get more info for you. Um, but these are just these are just some flyers, some extra messages that are coming out here. King of Swords. You could be connecting with a, an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But I really feel like this is you, Aries. There needs to be some sort of detachment. Um, there needs to be some sort of sort of logical thinking here. And it's funny because when this came out, the first thing I thought was is. Um, it connects with this express love through gifts situation. Um, so there's something that's happening in the background here. Okay, I don't know. There could be there could be a situation 
there could be a situation where there's like a bit of a mistress situation. Um, there's someone else that, you know, if you're connecting with someone and they kind of have someone else that they're still involved with, potentially, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords, I just feel like there's something that's going on in the background. You, Aries, might be planning something. You might be, or your partner might be planning something, or just like trying to figure things out in the background. Um... But with the, the, the how it connects with the express love through gifts situation, you might be, maybe you're thinking of proposing in some way, which is weird because that's not the kind of combination you would get with that, the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. But I just, I don't feel like it's all bad. I feel like there's something that's happening on the, in the background and someone's really just being very logical about something. Um, a gift giving a gift, making some sort of major proposal, major move, major shift in the relationship. Also, though, what I'm getting with the King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess, if you're aware of some sort of third-party situation, if you're aware that the, the, the soulmate that you're, you're, you're connecting with is not really being honest with you, is kind of just keeping things on the low in some way, or is like... You know, just being kind of secretive or not too communicative. It's time to detach and see the situation, you know, from a less emotional point of view, Aries. Okay. All right. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then uh, also, guys, if you, because we're doing Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in the same video. So if you want, if someone wants to go ahead and timestamp, that would be awesome. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, Aries, so we're doing this, we're doing this, uh, the Tarot spread in the similar way that I do my freestyle readings for the Zodiacs monthly is okay. Let me sip some coffee. So we're going to get some overall energy and then we're going to get uh, two, two sets of current energies, the challenge, and then the potential outcome coming out for you guys. Okay, so, okay, look at that. We've got the Eight of Swords here, Aries. So you're feeling kind of trapped about something, um... You're feeling up in your head. You might feel like you are... I'm getting an energy of feeling like you're trapped in the sense that um, you're connecting with someone or you've been connected to someone and you don't necessarily know what to do about it anymore because something may not necessarily be going your way. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles here. We've got the Queen of Cups. And we've got the Chariot. All right, underneath everything. This is your overall energy with this situation. So with this soulmate here, you might be really up in your feelings right now, Aries, but you're not, but it doesn't mean, okay, with the Queen of Cups, you could also be connecting with a Cancer, Um, the because the Queen of Cups for me is very much a Cancer energy, but then you also have the Chariot here, which is another Cancer energy. Um, and I really feel like there's an imbalance of give and take right now with the, the situation with the Six of Pentacles. And... Um, so uh, just keep in mind, guys, that these messages, this could be the Aries or this could be for a cross watcher. OK, so what I'm getting right now is maybe there's a cross watcher out there or someone that's connecting with an Aries and they need to give a little bit more. OK, they maybe they need to be not not be so secretive about things. Um, also, Aries, what's coming through with the Queen of Cups here is that you might be really very, very intuitive Um have, you might have a really a much deeper understanding of the situation than <laughs> that meets the eye, and so that pushes for a little bit of a loop, also. Okay, first set of current energies for you, Aries. We've got the Ace of Cups. Look at that. So there's definitely love in this situation, and I'm getting that it's not necessarily with this soulmate. It could. This is actually could very much be love for the self, um, which is generating this situation with a soulmate. Okay. Um, Okay, the Ace of Cups is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Look, there you are, Aries. This could be you. This also could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you could be connecting with another fire sign, or this is just you. Now, what I'm this is also reiterating the message that I was getting with the self-love situation. It's because of this self-love that you're now in this place of attracting something. With the Queen of Wands, to me, she's very she's magical, she's very magnetic, okay? She's very attractive. She she brings what she she magnif um excuse me she um she she gets what she wants by attracting it she doesn't necessarily have to go out so far do so much to do it but don't get me wrong that doesn't mean she's not going to take action she is very much action oriented just like the king of wands okay 
Um, so she doesn't rest necessarily need to go out and do something, go out and get something, because it tends to just gravitate towards her. But when she does, or, or when she finds or sees something that she wants, she goes for it, all right? Um, okay, so second set of current energies for you, Aries. We've got judgment. Okay, I'm getting an energy of divine guidance in some way. Or at least there's there's a decision there's a decision that needs to be made. There could be some sort of reconciliation coming. Judgment is coupled with the nine of pentacles. So it's funny. The question I'm getting here is: Is this situation or is this soulmate that you are connecting with, that you're attracting into your life, is this person worth releasing or losing your independence for? Is this person or is this situation worth? Um, Losing your single status, not being single anymore. Is this worth, you know, and that, that kind of thing. And with the secrecy that's going on here, with the need to give, the balance of give and take that's needed here, that's a really good question. Is this person going to, going to step up and really give um, to balance out the situation? Or are they just going to continue to give you crumbs? I'm getting an energy of, is it even worth continuing to deal with this person or continuing to communicate or try to co further connect with this person? Even though you have the Ace of Cups here, so there is there is some type of love here. And you might be feeling very much um, in love or very affectionate towards this person. But the mo for the most part, it's like if they're not going to balance the give and take here, why is it worth it? Although I am really getting an energy of a lot of self-love here with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. That's what I'm getting the most. It's not just, it's not so much the love between the two and the soulmate connection. It's more of the love for the self, which is making this Queen of Wands, you potentially, Aries, is making you very, very attractive. Not just to this person that you're connecting with, but to many others around you, okay? The current challenge, you have the Two of Swords. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying, is this worth it? But there is something that someone is not seeing here. This could be you, Aries, or this could be the person you're connecting with. The Two of Swords is coupled with the Fool. But see, this right here is that exact question I was just asking. Is it worth it to continue on this? Is it worth it to to continue to do this? Or should or should I just move on, says the Aries, or even the Cross Watcher? Because maybe it's the Aries that needs to be a little more giving in this situation. Maybe it's the Aries that's being kind of secretive. I'm getting an energy right now that I'm connecting with that Aries. You could be, in the Seven of Cups didn't come out here, but I'm getting an energy of, whoa, like, are there a bunch of op different options here? Like, who, who am I to you? That kind of question, okay? Um... The potential outcome here for you, Aries, we've got the three of wands. Okay, so this is the return on an investment. You could have, someone could have been investing in a situation and now is waiting for the return on that investment. The three of wands is coupled with, whoa, the ace of swords. All right, this really could go one of two ways, Aries. Hold on a second. This really could go one of two ways. Either you, the ace of swords is that you get that return, you get the, the communication or the, the, um, the the uh, epiphany that you're looking for you get the answer that you're looking for things come out into the light because this is so whatever has been whatever has been happening um under this underneath the surface whatever that secrecy was that came out with the seven of swords that could be coming to light so this relationship could be going to the next level you guys might be you know starting to date more this kind of thing or this could be the kibosh. This could be like, no, this isn't worth it. Maybe the answer to that question that we've been asking here with this should, is this worth losing the uh, the independence or the single nature? Is it worth it? Maybe the answer is no in this situation. Either way, though, Aries, I'm really feeling like you really want to move forward with something because that chariot energy is really strong, really strong wanting to move forward and get something rolling, get something off the ground, okay? Overall, overall, this kind of feels good for you, Aries, because with the, with the appreciate this moment here, and this says every each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love, regardless of what happens in this situation, Aries. I know I'm kind of this is kind of being left open ended or up in the air, but that's just how the situation is right now. Um, but either way, you have a chance to learn and grow and to find a deeper sense of self-love. I really feel like, Aries, you are very much in a sense of self-love right now, and that's what's making you attractive. That is what's making 
making, you know, this situation even possible to begin with. So either way, you're going to be good, Aries, however this turns out for you. All right. Excellent. So now let me just give me a real, give me a quick second here, guys. Let me just re do a reshuffle here and we're going to get into Leo. What's up for my Leos here? Please, like I said before, if you would like to timestamp, please go ahead. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay. Leo, Leo, Leo. So I'm just going to reshuffle here. That's good for that. And then we're going to get into this for you, Leo. Give me just a second. All right, Leo. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Leo. My lions. How we doing, Leo? How we doing? Um, uh-oh, my feather just disappeared. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get it later. Um, all right, Leo, so I, I'm, you, I, I think you guys are feeling pretty good. Let's see what we've got for you here, Leo, because your energy is feeling nice and vibrant and strong and powerful and confident. I mean, that's you. That's you to a T, Leo. So let's see. Let's see what we've got here. What's your theme going right now? We're going to take this to the end of the month, Leo. This is going to go through until the end of October. Here we go. Here we go. Card number two. All right, Leo. I like this. Like attracts like. If you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Well, okay, Leo. I'm already getting it. Now, it's funny because this is the two. This is the second card here, and I'm very much thinking the two of cups, okay? So I, I'm getting, I'm going to be straight up and honest with you, Leo. I'm getting an energy of needing to put your pride aside. And it's very much like the Aries energy that I, that we just did. Um, you're needing to show somebody some appreciation. You're so, you're needing to show some more love. Um, you're needing to, and, and it's funny because Leo's, you don't have a problem with that. I'm just getting an energy right now of there's just a little bit too much pride going on for you, Leo. But let's just see what we get into with the Tarot here from Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, Leo, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to give you one more shuffle, Leo. Yeah, it's strange, Leo. I, I And I feel like you guys, so a lot of you that are really resonating with this part of the message and the like attracts like, I really feel like you're connecting with someone new in a way. And there's a little bit, it's funny because there's a little bit of secrecy that I'm picking up on here for you, Leo. So let's see what we've got for you. Almost like, almost like you're not really willing to, um, to open up so much. But I feel like that could be a detriment here. All right, overall energy, <laughs> here you are, Leo, the sun, okay? I really feel like some of you are kind of really doubting what's going on with this new connection, and things are much better than you think, okay? You're really being asked to open up. You've got the hermit here. You could be connecting with a, with a Virgo. You've got the wheel of fortune, and here we go. We've got some mirroring from the Aries energy. So some of you might have might be connecting with an Aries. You might be um, you might have Aries in your chart somewhere. Uh, but anyway, this is the Three of Wands. So there is an energy of waiting for a return on an investment. Maybe you, Leo, have been in, have been investing in something, or someone else has been investing in a relationship or in the situation with you. And now someone is waiting for a return on that investment. There definitely is an energy of needing to go within and see the truth on, of the matter from within. The Wheel of Fortune is saying to me that this is... Um, this is definitely something that's been manifested. This, this, it, and this has been manifesting from your true, dis, true heart's desires here with the Hermit from within. Um, there is something here that that is almost destined it's like because the wheel of fortune is karma it's also destiny so there's something that's destined here and it's destined because of the fact that it's been manifested from within from the truth that's coming within um and i'm not exactly sure that you're completely aware of that leo but that the sun is here saying that it's being illuminated for you right here right now um okay 
And also, I want to point out, you have the card number two here. And then you have the sun, which has these two kids. And I'm definitely seeing a two of cups energy, okay? So let's get into the rest of your cards here. Current energies around the soulmate situation. You've got the six of wands. So more of your energy here, Leo. But this is that pride that I was picking up on. Is that getting in the way, though? Let's see. Six of wands is coupled with, yeah, it sure is, the two of swords. All right. And it's funny because you have a victory here with the six of wands. I really feel like this, whoever you're connecting with, Leo, this is a good match. OK, but at the same time, it's like your pride and your ego are getting in the way. And I'm really getting an energy of self image. Like, what are people going to think if you continue connecting with this person, which is strange, is very strange. Maybe you're in a situation right now that you're trying to get out of and there's a new connection coming through and you're kind of like, I don't know, maybe that's too fast, blah, blah, blah. But that's really just pride and ego. I really feel like um, the wheel is definitely turning in your favor here. This this definitely feels good, Leo. It's just, are you, uh, are you willing to accept it? Because I really feel like you have, in fact, manifested this. Both of you have, to be honest. Second set of current energies, you've got the Ace of Swords. So you are really mirroring this Aries energy right now, okay? You really might be connecting with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart. The Ace of Swords, this is about truth, honesty, um, uh, epiphanies, aha moments, realizations. The Ace of Swords is coupled with, wow, the Chariot. Okay, look at this, guys. The, the, I really feel like someone is coming towards you with some real truth. Or you are coming towards someone with some real truth. You really want to move towards someone that is like, you're you're just, you're ready to go. And you're very, you, you're in the energy of really wanting to be honest about it. Ready to go, ready to do this, like, let's do this, let's move, let's, let's get this going. But Leo, I really feel like this is more the other person than you. Because with the Six of Wands here and the Two of Swords, I feel like that's more your energy. The current challenge, temperance, okay, balance, patience, also. You got some, you got two cards about patience and divine timing here. You got the wheel of fortune and you got temperance, but this is the current challenge. Temperance is coupled with <laughs> the ace of cups. Okay, so I really feel like there, whoever this is resonating with, either this is you, Leo, maybe this is the cross watcher, or you just have, you're connecting with an Aries, or you've got Aries in your chart. Um... For some, it doesn't have to be that way all around. This is a general reading. But I really feel like there is some patience that's needed here. There is some time that's needed. There is some more balance. There are some more things that need to be worked out before the Ace of Cups can be realized here. But what's in the current energy is that someone is very much aware of how of their feelings. And it's very much aware of what they're trying to do. You could be connecting with a Cancer. You could also be connecting with a Sagittarius with Temperance here. And then you could also be connecting with a Virgo. You could be connecting with another Leo or another Fire Sign. Okay, the potential outcome here for you, Leo, the Four of Cups, yeah, all right, the Four of Cups is coupled with <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. So somebody wants to make an offer here, Leo, but then the other person is like, mm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I really feel like if you sit on the fence too long, if whoever sits on the fence too long, because someone is here, someone is here trying to make an offer, and it's probably an offer of commitment, like a strong, like a stable offer with the Page of Cups here. Again, you could be connecting with another Earth, with an Earth sign, Aries, I'm sorry, an Earth sign being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right? But either way, even if it's not another Earth sign, someone is really here trying to make a commitment, and then the, fi and then the fire sign, the Leo, or maybe the other person, maybe you, Leo, are trying to make a commitment, but maybe then it could be someone's trying to make a commitment to you, Leo. Either way, someone's like, yeah, yeah, I just don't know. But this really could be a missed opportunity, Leo. It really could. It really, really could. And look, you've got, you've got a return on the investment coming. Hmm. Okay, Leo. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So let's get into Sagittarius. Give me just a second here, guys. Let me just reshuffle here. <laughs> We've got the Queen of Wands coming out. So that could be you, Sag. Very much could be you. Uh, could be another fire sign. Okay, let's 
just shuffle this up real quick. Oh, King of Swords. You could be connecting with uh, Aries. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Um, there could be a need for detachment here. Okay. Just a few more moments here, guys. All right, Sagittarius. Cool, cool. So let's get into your Oracle card. Let's see what your theme is right now, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh. All right, Sag. Let's see what we've got for you here. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what is your theme right now? We're going till the end of October, guys. We might be able to, I might be able to do this again sooner, but for now, let's just see. Till the end of October, Sagittarius, what have we got for you? What have we got for you? New love, okay. I like that for you, Sagittarius. And it's funny because what the, with the, uh, the, the message that I put out for the monthlies for Sagittarius, it was very much about making a move. So they're very, they're much, there really could be an energy of someone, you're watching someone, someone's watching you, and you're needing to, someone's needing to just step up to the plate and like uh, make the move. Uh, new love, embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth, but we are talking soulmates connections. So hey, 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 there could be some new soulmate coming in there for you, or it just could be someone that you've been connected with for a little bit but and you're feeling the you're feeling the love someone's feeling the love all right all right cool so let's see what we've got in the tarot here for you <laughs> Sagittarius okay Sag we've got some flyers Woo. all right we've got the world the world is reversed okay um We've got the Eight of Cups and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So there could, so this could very well be why there is a new love on the horizon. There was a situation going on with someone. This either could be you, Sagittarius, or it could be someone you're connecting with, where the Eight, of, where someone had to walk away. Okay, um, and because what they were getting out of the situation with the Seven of Pentacles may not necessarily have been what they truly wanted. It really may not have. Um, it may not have been serving their highest good. Um, but with the world in reverse here, I kind of feel like the situation's not so over. There's some sort of completion that's not happened. Please excuse the silence. I'm, I'm kind of trying just to channel this situation, but it's really, there's nothing much, I'm, nothing much, not much else that I'm getting with that. It's just like the, the, the situation's not over. Okay, so if you're connecting with someone that recently broke up or recently walked away from someone else that they were trying to, you know, get involved with or whatever, just be aware that it might not be over. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. But I don't want that to just to discourage because with new love here, something feels very optimistic. So it could be a rekindling of love, or it could just be someone's walking away and there's a new love coming. Yeah, okay, the sun the sun just caught my attention. So I don't want people to get discouraged here. It's not as bad as it seems. It's really not as bad as it seems. So there could be a chance to rekindle a situation if you have walked away, or if someone has walked away, there could be... Um, there is a new love coming in. You could have a new connection that you could be making. Then maybe that could complete the cycle. Maybe walking away and what, and actually I just got this. For some of you, the world is in reverse because something is not completed because someone is wanting to have a soulmate or a partnership to bring that completion in, to bring the end of that cycle in. So that could be why they're walking away and why new love is here, Sag. All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to give you one more shuffle. Excellent. And we're going to cut the deck and we're going to see what's up. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Sagittarius. You've got the magician. Hello, can I get an amen, Sagittarius? Someone is really manifesting. What? Manifesting what? New love, y'all. Okay, I like that, Sag. Hold on. Sorry, let me <laughs> drink some coffee here. Mm. All right. 
Uh, you've got the Magician. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. And you've got the High Priestess. All right. So there is definitely something happening underneath the surface here. There is definitely a manifestation of, yes, new love, possibly even commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. There is a brand new start coming. There is, and it's funny because in the magician here, the magician has all four of the elements, earth, air, fire, and water. But the pentacle right here is really catching my attention. And you've got a lot of pentacle situations here. So Sagittarius, there really could be a new love situation coming in for you that really leads to commitment, okay? It's gonna be probably a slow and steady process with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, or on in, in that sense, it could be that you're slowly... You're slowly manifesting or putting the pieces together in order to bring this new opportunity in for you. With the High Priestess, I really feel like you're working with your intuition here, and you're probably being pretty secretive about it. You're probably really not letting anyone know what's going on. But I do really feel like you're working with your intuition, you're working with the universe in order to bring this into fruition, okay? First set of current energies for you, Sagittarius, we've got the Four of Cups. Okay, interesting. So there is some sort of missed opportunity, some sort of un unrequited love. This could be why somebody walked away because of the fact that they were trying to connect with someone and it just wasn't working out. Someone wasn't accepting the offer. The Four of Cups is coupled with the Three of Cups. Interesting. There could have been a third party situation involved. Maybe someone wasn't wasn't accepting an offer because of other people around them, because of a social setting, because they just wanted to continue to be a player or a, a bachelor, or they just wanted to, you know, keep it light and simple. And light and simple is not what, apparently, is not what Sagittarius wants or who this person Sagittarius is connecting with because of all these pentacles here. It's like somebody wants commitment and someone is manifesting that. So this really could be why somebody walked away because they weren't getting it, okay? Second set of current energies for you, Sag. We've got the Hermit. You could be connecting with an Earth sign, Aries. I'm sorry, an Earth sign being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and we do have a lot of, air, of Earth energy here, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, okay? Um, this could be, but Hermit is Virgo. So you could be connecting with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, but also there's an energy of the inner light guiding someone here. The Hermit is, ooh, is coupled with the Ten of Swords. So someone is really done with the situation, but they're done with the situation because they've learned the lessons from the situation and they're following their inner light. So this could really be another reason why someone is walking away because they are they understand themselves better they have a truer vision a truer understanding of what they truly want in life and so they're releasing the heartbreak and pain that's coming with whatever came from that previous situation that someone is walking away from this could be you Sagittarius I really feel like if this is you Sagittarius you are absolutely manifesting something new okay absolutely and it's fantastic the current challenge we have Justice could be connecting with a Libra, but the challenge here is bringing justice into your situation. Bringing justice into your situation very well could have been because you are walking away, okay? Justice is coupled with the King of Cups. Could be connecting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, but see, here's your challenge. Manifesting that new love. And that's, <laughs> that's really excellent. And I really feel like whoever is doing this manifestation has accepted this challenge. It doesn't really feel so challenging anymore. It feels like it's flowing. And it's flowing because someone has taken the steps to remove themselves from whatever was not satisfying them, was not fulfilling them, or whoever was not really accepting their offer. The potential outcome, Sagittarius, you've got the Nine of Wands. Perseverance, okay? I feel like there's going to be a little bit of a struggle here. A little bit. Um, there's probably a lot of healing that needs to be done, um, but perseverance, keeping on, keep moving on. This could be, this really could be your energy here with the wands. This is fire, Sagittarius. The nine of wands is coupled with, there you go, look at that, the ace of cups, that new love coming in. So should you persevere with this, uh, Sagittarius? There you go, you've got your... Not You've got your Ace of Cups. You've got that love. You've got that offer. And especially with the Perseverance and this Knight of Pentacles energy, the slow and steady movement. Yeah, I mean, you've got the Ace of Cups in your potential outcome. And you've also got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So you're really... Someone is really manifesting new love. And honestly, I want to say commitment. 
All right. All right. All right. All right. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to let me know how these resonate with you. If this is something that you enjoy, if it is something you guys enjoy, then I am more than happy to continue to do it for you. Otherwise, I look forward to connecting with you again. Much love. Take care. Mwah. Bye.